Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Welcome to another Access video. We are now on lesson two, and in lesson one, we created a student's table with some data. So now I want to talk about uh, modifying this table to give you guys a few more columns of data, and the columns are actually called fields. So ID, student name, gender these are all fields so that is a new term you guys can remember and now we want to add a new field now because we want to uh, modify some more settings for each field we can actually go to a different view so if you click on this drop down arrow you'll see that there is a design view so the data sheet view is a bit similar to Excel where you enter the data but the design view is going to give us a lot more options in terms of modifying what each field can hold what sort of data they can hold so we have ID student name gender and let's say we want to add a new field called birthday because you want to know um, how old your students are. Okay, so we got birth date and um, the data type is going to be a date time data type because you uh, want to record some dates. And here is a very important part where we modify some of the options and the first thing we want is to we want every student to have a birthday okay so we want to make that a required field so change this to required and then the next thing we want is an input mask so what is an input mask input mask will determine what people are allowed to enter uh, in terms of formatting so what does the date want to look like save the table um, existing data may not be valid oh because we haven't entered the birth date for the students who are there already it says that uh, there might be some problems to make it required um, so we don't want to be tested right now we can simply add them later on so what do you want the date time to look like so we're going to make this format the short date 2709 1969 to be our uh, format for the date but if you prefer you can also choose this one in fact let's choose this one because you've got the month in the middle in letters so that will uh, make it a bit more obvious what month they're born in okay so now here is where we can explain what this part means what the input mask means so the two numbers at the start represents the um, represents the 27 so you're going to have two numbers at the start that's what the two zeros represent and then this hyphen matches this hyphen over here okay so it's just saying we're gonna have two numbers a hyphen this bit here represents a capital letter so bracket or brace L represents we're gonna have a capital letter so you can see the S is capital the two L's here with a brace in the other direction represents two small case letters and then we got another two numbers at the end okay so that is what the input mask represents if you want four numbers at the end simply add another two zeros so now you have four numbers at the end all right four numbers at the end and next finish okay so now let's test it out let's go back to data sheet view and let's put in a birth date for everyone um, 1999 probably 
actually that's too old to be a student 2003 uh, 04 09 oops oops I have to put in a um, month okay but notice how it changes to that so we're gonna talk about how to fix that very soon August uh, 10 November 2005 Okay, so we have now entered the data for all the birth dates of each student. Let's now talk about how to make the month occur um, with the correct input mask that we put in earlier. So the input mask, as the name suggests, only determines how you enter the data. So you can see here, when I click on a new cell, it automatic automatically gives me these hyphens, gives me these uh, under underlines for me to enter the data. So I know how many spaces I have to enter the data. But the input mask doesn't determine how the data is displayed. So you can see it's still showing numbers in the middle for month. So to change that, what you need to do is you need to go to view and inside the format property for the birthday is where you can choose how you want to display it. So there are all these different options. There is um, short date, which gives it um, displayed all the numbers which is what it is on right now but we want the month in terms of letters in the middle so let's pick that and if you go back save the table it now gives us a month in the middle but we want the year as four digits so we also can use a custom format and it's simply uh, some codes that you can enter you can google um, where to find that if you like but um, i'll actually just show you the page that you can go to to find it okay uh, basically this is what you have to google uh, the microsoft office add-on here is the address and it shows you the date time data type property and these are the symbols you can put in to make sure that it displays how you want it to. So I can simply just put in here in the format um, date hyphen month and year. Okay, four letters for year. So now let's try go to data sheet view again. And it now shows four digits for the year. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.